Hey there, AG Army. It's the General here, and today we are going to talk about the difference between essential amino acids and branch chain amino acids and which one you should be using. So first off, let's talk about what amino acids are. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. And if you pictured an amino acid as an actual block, um, these would be held together by bonds. So you'd have several of these blocks uh, connected by, by bonds. And the speed at which your digestive system can pull those uh, bonds apart um, will determine whether it is a fast digesting protein or a slow digesting protein. And um, if there are no bonds at all, we call those free form amino acids. Both branch chain amino acids and the essential amino acids in animal 8 are free form, so they're both going to be absorbed very quickly. So let's get into essential and non-essential amino acids for a moment. Essential amino acids, much like essential fatty acids, are required to be taken in through nutrition and or supplementation, while non-essential amino acids are not, thus the term non-essential, and your body can create them on its own. Now, uh, let's talk about complete versus incomplete proteins for a moment. It's very important. Uh, Incomplete proteins are those proteins that do not contain all of the essential amino acids. Uh, for you vegetarians out there, or vegans, you'll know that you often stack different foods together in order to create um, a complete protein as beans and all those sort of things do not uh, contain all the essentials, thus they are incomplete. Your meat eaters out there are absolutely okay because you're already uh, consuming complete proteins such as meat, proteins, um, eggs, whey, all that sort of stuff are, are complete proteins. Now on to the big question, essential versus branched chain amino acids. <clears throat> now branched chain amino acids are three amino acids, a leucine, valine, and isoleucine. And these are the three amino acids that are broken down during exercise, and that's why most people will supplement with branched chain amino acids um, to prevent muscle breakdown while training. Now, the branched chain amino acids are essential amino acids, but there are five other very important amino, uh, essential amino acids that can be supplemented with. Um, let's talk about the what branched chain amino acids do. As I said, they will inhibit breakdown of muscle tissue. While essential amino acids, because they do contain the branched chain amino acids, they will inhibit muscle breakdown, but they also encourage muscle growth. And this is what we look for when we weight train. We really want to grow muscle. Um, it is important to halt muscle breakdown, but why not go that extra step and actually um, take something that helps you actually gain muscle mass, that turns on muscle protein synthesis. And that's where your essential amino acids come into play, the AMO8. Now AMO8 is one step beyond essential amino acids because um, it has a very specific amino acids uh, structure that has been shown in human studies, very important, uh, to be 33% more anabolic than regular uh, gold standard essential amino acids. So. This product is just that much better than essential amino acids. Now, some of you might say, hey, well, I've been using branch chains. They seem to work okay. Uh, what can you tell me to put the nail in the coffin so that you will uh, convince me to use essential amino acids over branch chains? Well, here we go. What I, what I issue is a challenge. Here's the challenge. Take 50 grams of branch chain, chain amino acids a day or take 50 grams of essential amino acids a day and that will be your only protein source for the entire day you're going to do that for seven days and see where you end up at the end of the week remember we talked about complete proteins versus incomplete proteins branch chain amino acids only three aminos that's pretty incomplete uh, while the essential amino acids obviously complete so there's the challenge for you if you uh, have trouble you know picturing in your head why one is better than the other that's uh yeah, I don't think any of you are going to take that challenge, but if you do, definitely send me an email or post on our Facebook page. Let us know how that went. Uh, 
All right, well, that's it for today. I hope that clears up the difference between, between essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. Feel free to write me. You can reach us on our uh, webpage, agarmy.com. There's a little contact section. Or you can private message us through our Facebook page, uh, Advanced Genetics. You know, you can Twitter me. You can Instagram a question, I suppose. You can send a personal message. And uh, I look forward to those. So we uh, will catch you next time right here on The General Answers. Hoorah.